Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are y'all? Y'all good? So anyways, I hope y'all doing good by the way. But anyways, um, I'm back making another video after kind of a long time. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm gonna be doing um, a, a skincare routine for um, acne prone and sensitive skin um, and a, like a super, super quick everyday no makeup makeup type makeup tutorial look <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna start off with doing my skincare routine obviously but before that i would like to talk about today's sponsor so yeah so today's sponsor is in sweet um it is an amazon based company where they sell um acrylic and glass makeup organizers um and i'll put pictures and pictures and stuff to um to show you guys what I'm talking about but yeah so they sent me a product to review um and I'm gonna show it to you guys I picked out the 360 rotating or acrylic um makeup organizer in the color transparent and you guys it is so convenient like first of all it spins so it's everything and um it fits all of my skincare and the makeup I use on a daily basis and putting it together and I've been using it for a few days now and it's really really good quality um see right here I have all my um lip balms my concealer all of my brushes my hair oil um my face washes and masks more hair oil more face masks um my all of my makeup sunscreen toners and everything and everything fits on here perfectly you guys and when I put it together and I put all this stuff on it it was so funny because my mom and my grandma both wanted one so i'm probably going to be going back and buying some more but i really really like this if you would like to buy one for yourself i'll leave the link in the description um so you guys can check it out and buy one for yourself so again i'd like to say a really big thank you to um in Suite for sponsoring today's video and sending me this to review and um show you guys and i really like it you guys like this is literally like the first company to like ever send me anything or ever like um you know pay me to do anything by the way this is like a paid promotion so i just wanted to, to tell you guys but yeah and i'm so happy because nobody wants to review a product that sucks like nobody wants to do that so the fact that this is like it's like so cute and it actually works you guys you guys <laughs> and you know like they told me to only pick one but the thing is like i was looking on their like their amazon site which again i'll link in um, the description their stuff is so cute like their stuff is so cute and like valentine's day is coming up too so i think i'm gonna go back and buy some like more for my mom and my grandma for valentine's day but anyways anyways that's enough of that so um let's get into it so first things first um for my skincare routine you guys if you watch um, my other makeup videos you know that um i have very sensitive skin acne prone skin i have i get like really bad cystic acne little whiteheads pimple everything so most of the skincare that i use is mainly targeted towards my redness um and combating irritation so um i don't have a lot of like acids in my skin to routine like aha bha and stuff like that just because most times aha bha serums are just way too harsh on my skin so that's what i use which is going to be the first product that you see today is this this is the murad acne control clarifying cleanser and i like this because ooh, this because it's like very cleansing but it doesn't strip my skin and it has 1.5 percent salicylic acid and i really like that because i don't get any salicylic acid anywhere else in my skincare routine so i really like this because i feel like it's kind of like a mini acne skin treatment before my skincare routine every single day i use this day and night so like i said oh my gosh you know what this reminds me of oh by the way this is how it foams up and stuff it's not anything crazy when i'm wearing makeup you guys by the way like i just thought to say this when i'm wearing makeup i go in with um another cleanser let me show you let me show you when i'm wearing makeup i use this to remove it is the Kores Greek yogurt. It's the Kores Greek yogurt um, 
cleanser, foam cleanser, and I use that to remove my makeup. And then when I take my makeup off with that, I go in with this face wash twice afterwards. But y'all probably don't care. Anyways, like I was saying, um, you know what this reminds me of? Y'all remember when people were dragging Kylie Jenner and uh, Millie Bobby Brown for faking their skincare routines? Like, <laughs> like I just saw that video pop up in my recommendation feed again from a few months ago. And uh, Millie, girl. Like, I mean, I didn't really care. Like, I didn't care. I just thought it was so funny because she was sitting here just like, and her face was dry. Her face was not wet. There was no product on her face. And it, it had me screaming. It was literally the, the funniest thing. But yeah, so this is how I wash my face. And I, um, I normally just sit here and rub it on my face for about like 30 seconds. I don't count, but when I wash my face, most times I'm listening to music. So... I just I just listen to like a whole verse, a whole chorus or whatever, and then like wash it off. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna wash it off. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it because I like my face to be I like my face to be a little wet um when I put my my stuff on. But uh, actually I'm gonna tie my put my hair up because <laughs> this is kinda like I'm getting my hair wet. Oh, by the way, this is a wig from, this is a headband wig from Julia, Julia Hair. If y'all want um, a review for that, tell me, tell me, because I'll do it. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so the next thing I use is this. Y'all saw this in my full coverage makeup tutorial, but this is the Seek a Pair Tiger Grass Calming Mist by Dr. Jart. And I'm going to just spray that all over my face. Okay. And then after that, I go in with the um, Sika Pear Tiger Grass Serum. I'm still using this, you guys. Like, I've been using this for at this point, um, like a month and a half now, and I love it so much. And um, I had a few comments saying, like, I should do like an acne journey type video and my experience on Accutane because I, I, I went on Accutane for for about nine months and then I was on doxycycline before that for like like four different times four or six different times so if y'all want an acne journey I would love to do that for you because my acne was so bad you guys I was thinking about like maybe inserting pictures but that would kind of like nobody would want to watch my acne journey video at that point then but anyways y'all would also like to see that tell me because i'll do that but anyways after i do that um i'm going in with the seek pear tiger grass cream basically i just use the whole seek pear line the seek pear tiger grass line every day and night but um i'm gonna i'm gonna show y'all in this in a second what different differentiates my nighttime routine to my daytime routine So, um, so, um, at night I would pretty much be done, but, um, I use this cream. I don't know what it's called. It's called Trium, girl, I don't know what that says. 1%. I use this when I get, like, little breakouts, because, like, I'm actually breaking out right now because I'm in my period, but I have, like, a, like, two, three little pimples right here, one right here, and then some on my eyebrows, so, um, at night before I go to sleep I get just the, like the tiniest tiniest bit and then put it right here or here wherever I'm breaking out and then I go to sleep put my lip on while I'm going to sleep and then that's it but I'm not going to sleep <laughs> I'm not going to sleep so um my daytime skincare routine my daytime skincare routine would um also kind of be done but I would go in with um my sunscreen this is the beat shield antioxidant day fluid by Crave Beauty. It's like, um, I really like it also because it doesn't give me like a white cast over my face, um, which a lot of sunscreens do, and it doesn't make me itchy, which I really, really like. But yeah, so when I'm not wearing makeup, I use this, the Beat Shield. Um, but since I'm doing like my everyday on the go and no makeup makeup look, I'm gonna be using um, the Sika Pear tiger grass color correcting treatment and the reason i'm using this is because it kind of acts like uh, as a color correcting primer first of all and it has a 50 oh it has an spf of 30 but the thing is uv index right now is like really low anyways so 
like 30 SPF 30 is like pretty good but yeah so when I'm not wearing makeup every day I use the Crave Beauty but if I'm wearing makeup I use this one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on right now and you guys this is really thick like this is a tester tester size I have two testers of these and then like this one like I have a bunch of this because I really really I love this line you guys please Dr. Jart please sponsor me I love your products I'm so embarrassing I'm so sorry but anyways so yeah this product is like really thick and you don't need a lot of it so just like that much okay well actually I'm gonna go in some more because I'm very heavy-handed with everything but um the key to this and to be honest all the um the tiger grass products I've tried is you really really have to warm it up in your fingers like for a good minute not like a whole minute but you know for a good minute you have to like rub it in and stuff and warm it up to like let it like not liquefy but you know what I mean just warm it up in your hands and then I go in all over my face and so since this is I'm using this as an SPF and like a color theme primer I do go in and put some more on just so I can have like um, the coverage on my face like the SPF coverage and stuff but I, I do it in thin layers like if you cake it on all at one time it's just, it's gonna be too much and it's gonna be really hard to blend out so I'm, I'm gonna blend this out and then put on another layer And sometimes, like if the U if the UV index is really really high, um, but I still want to wear makeup, I use the Cray Beauty sunscreen, and then I put this on top of it because this is like a really good color correcting thing. Like look, look at me, y'all. I look so white right now. Oh my god, Loki may have put too much on. We're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Y'all. Um, I look crazy right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look so crazy right now. But we're, it's gonna it's gonna work out. I'm gonna blend it out, and we're gonna we're gonna look okay. We're gonna fix this. But see, this is exactly what I was talking about, you guys. You know how you know how I said like the Cray Beauty one doesn't leave like a white cast. This is what I was talking about. But at the same time, I can't be mad because this is a color cor correcting treatment. So, but um, I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a few minutes and then um, come back and show you guys what this looks like. Okay, so it's been about like two minutes and um, yeah, this is basically what it looks like. And I still have kind of like a white cast, but as you can tell, my face is not like anywhere near as red as it was before. Since I'm done with um, my skincare, that's my skincare routine, you guys. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start my um, my makeup, my no makeup makeup look. My on the go. Oh, you, you know the way they be naming those like Vogue tutorials, like 10 minute Zoom beauty routine or t um, five minute on the go makeup routine. That's what this is. That's what this is. This is that's what I'm attempting to do. And while I'm talking to you guys, I'm using my makeup organizer. <laughs> nope, I'm, I am, but I just I really like this little makeup organizer, you guys. Um, but yeah, so first things first, I'm going I'm gonna go in with this concealer that I hate. You already know what it is, the Too Faced Sculpting Concealer. I'm just gonna go under my eyes, just the tiniest bit, just like that. Oh, I forgot to do my eyebrows. Um, oops. And then I'm gonna go right here because. I'm a hairy girl and I low-key got a, a beard right here and then a little bit right here because um normally when I um like if y'all saw my last video I used a lot of this concealer to cover up my redness but since I used that color correcting treatment I don't have that much redness so I'm just gonna blend this in um, Now that I'm done with my concealer, I'm gonna go in and do my brows. And um, normally I don't really, like I said in my other videos, I don't go heavy on my brows on a daily basis. So all I do is um, use my eyebrow spoolie and use some gel and slick them up. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you guys how how it looks. Ooh, girl, y'all really weren't gonna tell me I didn't blend out all my concealer? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways. 
Let me do my eyebrows. Oh my god, I'm so tired of myself. Now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm just gonna go in um, and do my base. And for my base, I just use this foundation powder. Well, it's called the Multi-Use Complexion Powder, but I use it kind of like as a powder foundation. And then I use this Morphe M439 brush. And then I just go like this. Okay, and then I just and this powder is kind of light for me, so when I do this, I look so pale, you guys. But it's just because I don't know how to match my my face. I really don't. But yeah. So yeah. And then after I do this. After I get it all over my face, I'm just gonna go in with that um, tiger grass spray. I've been making, I've been making everything a setting spray, y'all. Like I've been wondering why my makeup don't last. It's because I'm literally using like anything on my face. But yeah, I'm just going in with that spray and then blending out my my powder. And I know a lot of people think that like using a lot of powder stuff is going to make your face really cakey. But at least for me personally, like my skin is pretty dry. Like I said, very sensitive. It gets flaky. And I feel like I can use powder over powder over powder and it will never look as cakey as like a like liquid does. Like my personal favorite is like a cream base with like a powder finish. Like, like I really, really love using... um a cream concealer cream blush cream highlighter cream stuff and then and then going over that with a, a foundation of powder foundation because i like the reason i do that is because i just i don't know i like putting like stuff under under my foundation which is a lot of what a lot of times why i do my concealer first but that's enough that's enough not that y'all care but um now that i'm done with my foundation i'm gonna go in with just a tiny bit of bronzer well, that's a lie. I go on with a lot of bronzer, but I just mix all three of these shades. Oh, by the way, this is the Park Park Avenue Princess Palette by Tarte. I'm sorry, y'all. I just have to laugh at myself. Like, I cannot take myself seriously. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in right here and then, like, warm my face up just a little bit. Like, a lot of the palettes I use, I don't know if it's because they're old or just, ooh, I think I put too much. I don't know if it's because they're old or if it's just, you know, the products themselves, but they have, they have a lot of fallout. Oh, I need to blend that. That looks really bad. I need to fix that. Girl, what is that? Okay, um, y'all see that? Is it, I think it's, is it the camera or is it me? Do y'all see that? Do y'all see what I'm talking about right now? I feel like I messed up, messed it up. So I'm just gonna go into my powder foundation right here. Okay, I think that fixed it a little bit because I went really ham with the bronzer and I didn't even need to do that. Okay, okay, I'm done. So after that, um, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna put my blush on. And for blush, um, I'm using the Ulta Beauty Pop Peach Pop Palette. And I'm just gonna take this shade right here. I use a lot of blush. I love blush. And I'm just gonna knock off some excess and then just go right here. I like going on the high parts of my cheeks. And I really like this blush because I feel like it, it mimics my natural blush color. Like it's a little more um 
muted because like when my face gets red it literally gets like hot pink red but it's like the pretty version you know the pretty version of what my blush looks like like the tiniest tiniest bit of like nose contour just to bring warmth to that part of my face back so i'm gonna go in with this color right here on this oh y'all i'm so heavy-handed for no reason like so heavy-handed <laughs> but okay so what i'm gonna do is go in here a little bit oh y'all i did not mean to go that heavy with my my thing but anyways i'm gonna go back and put it that way and then i just bring it right here because i'm not gonna be doing an eyeshadow because it takes too much time. It takes too much time. Like, this is the makeup that I was trying to do, like, in school. Like, in the mornings and stuff. Let me go back and fix my eyeshadow. Okay, y'all. Lord. I didn't... Look how heavy I went in for no reason. Like, it's completely, completely on accident. Oh, and you guys, um, you know how like in my makeup tutorial, my last makeup tutorial, I said like that makeup does not look good in like day to day, like every day. Like, um, it looks good on camera, but if you were to walk outside with that makeup on, like it looks really bad. But this one doesn't. Like this one doesn't. Like this is what I do when I wear makeup and stuff, and it looks really good. I look really white on camera, you guys. I normally do not look like that. I'm so sorry. Step is um, I go back into my blush palette and I just pick a color. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna mix these two. And then I'm just gonna go right here and put that right here. Just a little bit. There you go. And then I'm gonna take my highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer. Mary Luminizer. I don't know what color, what color it is, but it's this one. And then I'm just gonna go right here. And then right here. And then right here. And then and then I'm done with the, I'm done with my base now. Um my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color milk. And just oh my god my mom's home i hear her talking but yeah you guys so um while i pull my mascara on i have a date this weekend i'm well, not really a date i'm just gonna go out with my friend i'm excited about it and then this weekend like after i go out with my friend you know, like next weekend is like Valentine's. Well, um, I don't have a Valentine's. I don't have a Valentine's. I'm gonna ask my ex if he can be my Valentine's. <laughs> I hope he says yes. I'll update y'all. But yeah, um, I already posted it on like my community tab post thingy that I want to be doing. I want to do like a vlog of me getting like my hair done, my my makeup, not my makeup, but like me doing my nails, my hair. I'm probably gonna buy like some uh, a new outfit or something. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing like a, a beauty maintenance appointment, Valentine's Day vlog thingy. So watch out for that. Oh. And I'm super excited because I'm gonna get my eyelashes done. And if y'all know me, like in real life, you know how obsessed I am with like uh, eyelash extensions. That's why like my eyebrows are so bishy right now. And like, like you can see like my hair and stuff because I like to like fully let my hair grow out and then get it waxed. You know, that's why I'm, I'm looking so crazy because I'm letting it grow out. So when I do go and do it, like, when I do, I'm just putting on more bronzer right here because I feel like really, really pale. But anyways, like I said, when I do go and get my eyebrows done, well, actually I do my eyebrows at home, but I mean like when I um, do get stuff done, it's way easier to wax your face, do your eyebrows and stuff when the hair is like fully grown out. So, yeah. Oh, I need to curl my my lash 
But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm getting passion braids. And um, I've never gotten passion braids before. Like I've only gotten box braids, like any type of braids done once before. And it was a nightmare. It was literally the worst thing ever. Like she literally scalped me. I was left with no edges. Ow. <laughs> My skin looks really bad, you guys. I'm breaking out so bad. Like, I've been eating really bad lately, and like, plus I'm on my period and stuff, so my skin has gotten really bad. You know what? It's so tacky right now. You can see my edges that are all curly, and then I'm wearing a straight wig. I'm such a hot mess. Okay, but anyways, so. So, anyways, anyways that's how. Ooh, I'm not even done. I'm so scared. So, um, that's how I do my makeup. I'm gonna put, um, for my lipstick, I use a lip balm. This is the Burt's Bees, um, tinted lip balm in hibiscus. Let me try and open it, because I just bought this. I bought this a few days ago. But this is the color. It's very natural, very pretty. soul matte and it's also kind of like a tinted lip balm but it's a little bit more um brown and then i'm going in with another lip balm this is the jouer and essential lip enhancer and then i'm done and then i'm done so yeah you guys this is my everyday skincare routine and my go-to on the go easy quick makeup look so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye that was so awkward oh my god